what up what up everybody welcome back to the channel i know it's been a long time your boy was having problems with the gaming setup we got the computer back everything is fixed it's time to pump out some videos today we're going to go over the oklahoma state offensive breakdown i'm going to give you guys a mini scheme and we can go more in depth into this drop a thumbs up on the video if you need help on the offensive side or the defensive side I'm the person that you need to go to. So hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have the ebook and you've been patiently waiting or you're a Patreon member, I do have about six updates coming. NCAA and Madden 25. They just released a patch on Madden 25. I already have insane defense. I already have very good offense. Right now in my CFM, I am currently 24 and two. Two losses out of 26 games. So we're going to go over this gun deuce, Oklahoma State. What I'm going to do is push right stick at the bottom. Right stick, I'm going to go to wide receiver one slot. That's going to give us three wide receiver, one tight end, one running back package. What does that do? That means that I can still go into my gun trips tight end and my bunch halfback strong. So that's a key to this offense. Now my audibles to come out mesh spot. Corner goes flat, 01 trap, read option. Okay, I'm gonna break the huddle and read option most of the time. Now, when you go into trips tight end, I also have return levels, drive posts, verticals, quick base. That's something I will go into in another video if you guys drop thumbs up on this video. So, we're gonna come out and read option against a random defense. The first thing I'm looking for is I'm looking at my triangle icon. Is there an extra cornerback on that side? No. Two high safeties. Both cornerbacks are about eight to nine yards off the line of scrimmage. Okay? So I'm thinking two high safeties. Both of them are even with the wide receivers. That's a good chance for man coverage all the way across the board. So I would go into man coverage type plays. That would be my corner goes flats. So I can go here and put O into a comeback route. I can go here and streak my square. And then what I'm gonna be looking at is my underneath. I'm gonna be looking at triangle first when I hike the ball and then X. So once I hike the ball, pick up any pressure, triangle, he's not open, so I'm gonna go back to X, okay? So that's how I'm gonna make my read progression. I'm gonna make sure I get away from the pressure. I'm expecting for that linebacker, that blitz to do this whip route but he didn't so i had to buy myself more time in the pocket and i have two underneath routes so i'm either going to get that whip on that side or i'm going to get this delayed whip on this side okay so now i can see somebody motioning down into the box that lets me know he's either blitzing or he's going to be into some type of zone okay five to seven yards off of my wide receivers that's either a man coverage blitz or a cover three so i'm going to give myself a better chance by audibling over to trips tight end and I'm gonna set up now either that guy is blitzing over there or he's gonna be in a zone so I'm gonna do this trips tight end I'm gonna streak my tight end I'm gonna flat my triangle that's gonna bring down any kind of purples hard flats zone drops on the field then I'm gonna put my square into an in route so what I'm looking for is to see in between my flat and square and then if I have time I'm gonna go deeper down the field so in between my flat and my square I have that backside route right there everybody else trail deep and then you get a lot of yards the user has to take the route that's going down the field first okay if he plays underneath you're gonna hit the deeper route so I'm looking boom you can see my flat takes a guy way out past the numbers and then that was man coverage. So if the user don't help with this route, you can lead him over the top also. Okay, so I'm just diagnosing plays. Right here I can see the triangle icon has an extra DB down close to the line of scrimmage. This is when I will run my halfback uh, option. So I just hold it off, follow the blocks, get down there, wide open scene, boom, make somebody miss. We pick up about 30, 35 yards on an easy handoff. Right here, I don't see that extra cornerback threat. You can stay in this formation and make reads if you want to. 
you can have double drags underneath and then you can have a backside dig that you smart route right here block the running back just in case they send pressure you're going to look underneath first and then deep i never come out hike the ball and just look to chuck it down the field i'm always trying to be smart by number one hitting underneath that's going to force my opponent into either man coverage or hard flats on the field and then that's going to open up all the deep plays so i'm going to look for both of the double drags boom i see x breaks open first the right side was a little better guarded if we make somebody miss, we turn that into another big game, okay? So I see the cornerback is on their left-hand side. So they are playing this offense like that is the strength, okay? So now I'm going to come right here. It's not that good of a run. So now we can go into like Seattle. So now we're going to have a flood. He follows across. Go here, put your tight end into a drag. Put your R1 into a post and then stem it down one time. Then you can streak your running back. This is how I like to set it up. So we have the running back streaking. We're going to be looking for the drag first. Then we're going to go backside to the post if we can hit it early. If not, if they in cover two or anything like that, that O icon is going to get open about 15 yards down the field. So make sure it's no pressure. He runs right there. And now we can throw it low. You're just making the high low read. It's not hard. Very simple. If they are aggressive and come down, to your drag once i hike the ball if he comes down aggressive to the drag right here he decides to come down to the drag i'm gonna go over the top okay if he plays above the drag if he was keep dropping back keep dropping back i'm gonna hit the drag right here at the x okay now you also can hit the running back fast off the backfield right here all right so if you come out in this corner flats here's a good setup it's not going to work as good with this type of setup he has. So I would just fade both of them. Now you can go ahead, put this X into a smart out route in case it's man coverage. Okay. So I'm going to look triangle and then out route. Okay. So triangle. Let's see if he's over the top of him. Out route is going to beat man coverage. Throw that ball right there. There's so many ways that you can be very, very successful in this game on the offensive side of the ball. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. We also have one play beaters and bombs also.